Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thanks for joining me. Guys, this is a really exciting video for me, but before I begin, I have to give credit to two people. So I have a lovely plant friend, her name is Shelley, and Shelley came by the other day and she came by to see my greenhouse and to talk everything that is plants. And when she was here, she noticed on one of my plants, she said, I think you have thrips. So she actually identified the issue and she alerted me to the problem. Now I had had thrips earlier this year on two of my beautiful plants that I imported from Thailand. And I, sorry, my husband's coughing if you can hear him. And I treated them and I successfully got rid of them off of those two plants. And I did do a quick check of other plants at the time and then I just completely forgot about it. I do constantly check the two that had thrips, but I wasn't paying attention to the other plants. So now I have thrips on a couple of my plants. So I found some on my Christmas cactus. I found some on my uh, skindo skindonium, syngonium, <laughs> white splash. And I found them on my beautiful Monstera deliciosa. I found them on new leaves on the Monstera deliciosa. So the second, oh, I don't know where, I, I went off on a tangent there, guys. So the second person I want to give credit to, we have a new Canadian YouTuber. She's a young lady, I, oh my gosh, I should have double checked. I think she's in BC and her name is Alina. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Alina. And she has a YouTube channel called Planterior Decorator. Guys, you need to go check her out. She's absolutely doing amazingly and her videos are very, very interesting. So I'm a big fan of hers. I'm actually a big fan of a lot of the Canadian YouTubers, guys. I follow all that I, any that I come across, I follow. And we, here in my location, we have Plant Pots and Whatnots. We have Nikki. We also have Lucia from Lulu's Leaves. We have, of course, the Crazy Plant Guy, who is amazing. I love watching him. Um, I'm trying to think if there's another one. Oh yes, Wild Fern. So we have a couple of um, YouTubers. Okay, let's... But let's get back to business. So Alina just did a video recently on um, beneficial bugs and she spoke about thrips in particular, which is what my problem is. And she spoke about, she called them pirate beetles. There is another name for them. And when we open up my package, we'll get the other name. And, um, you know, she mentioned that these are very good. She did, she paired them up with something like Kuka. I can't think. I, when I get the name of it, I'll put it up here. I didn't pair mine up at this point. Um, I think I was just so desperate and I panicked and I just like went online and ordered these. Now, I, when I found the thrips, I nearly lost my life. So if you remember guys, I ordered the silver dragon alocasia um, and I got a delivery on that. So Shelly, when she looked at it, she said, I think, that's, I think it has thrips as well. And it was in my IKEA greenhouse. So I didn't find actually any in my basement, to be fair, but I wasn't taking any chances. So I stayed up half the night. I mixed up my neem oil, my castile soap with tea tree oil and my water. And I sprayed the bejesus out of the plants. I am not kidding you. I was, I stank of neem oil. Neem oil. When I got to bed, I literally had to go and have a shower. Like I stank. So I've sprayed everything so much so that I'm like, oh, have I killed them now? Oh God, I'm going to be in trouble. But actually, they all seem to be absolutely fine. And I haven't seen any more traces of the trips at the moment. Now, I had watched a lady in the States, and I can't think of her name. And she, luckily, she said she got trips on her Monstera Deliciosa. And she mentioned that they loved the baby leaves. Well, I had two new leaves unfurling on mine in my kitchen. And I unfurled them gently to have a look and sure enough, there were the thrips. So I cut off those two leaves, put them in the garbage bin, but I didn't want to spray those plants with neem oil because the owners of the beneficial bug company told me the neem oil will also kill the beneficial bugs. Okay guys, so let's get into opening the package and we can talk further about it as we go along. So I just, I literally just cut open the top but I haven't taken out the little guys yet and I got my invoice. So the company's name is Grow Live Botanicals and they're here in Ontario. They're in, of course I went blind, let me put my glasses on. They're in Amherstburg, Ontario. Um, I'm not sure where that is, but they sent them to me. Yes, I ordered them yesterday, guys, and they arrived today. So they cost $69.99, they're not cheap, uh, but the shipping was free. 
So let's open up this package. Now you do have to be careful guys, you only have a short period of time to get these onto your plants. And obviously I can't put them on the plants that I sprayed with neem oil, so I purposely didn't spray the rest of the plants in the house. Okay, so let's open this up. I can't go, I cannot believe that I got them today. Um, it was amazing, they came by pure later. I was afraid to go outside the door though because they're little bugs, so I didn't want anything to happen to them. Here we go. I hope they're all right and I hope they made it. Little guys. So I've got 500 of them here guys. And I will in a few minutes read some information on them for you. So they're Aureus insidiosus is the name. Okay, so there is the packaging guys. Aureus insidiosus, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, are otherwise known as pirate bugs, pirate beetles, sorry. So let's see if I can get a look at them as I'm releasing them on the plants. Now, so there's a little bit of mesh on the top. Oh, I can see them. I don't know if you can see them. They're walking around in there. But, oh, I see them. Did I frighten one, I think? Okay, let me see if I can get some on my hand, actually. Can you see them? How do they know there's 500? <laughs> How do they count 500 of them? Okay, so I'm just going to use my hand. Can you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm going to use my hand. Oh, they're so cute. What a little guys. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, can you see them? They're running around my hand, look. Oh, can you see? I hope we're not blurred. So there's two of them running around my hand. That's hilarious. That's. I hope they get um, thrips to eat on because I. It's hard to know where I have them, but I'm just going to put a few on every plant in here. Oh, that is so cute. I never read how you're supposed to put these in, but anyway, God, they're fast, guys. They are fast. <laughs> flying around. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god, they're fast. I don't even know if I'm doing this properly, guys. Oh, there's one there. But I'm just going to put a few in every plant. And then when my other plants, when the neem oil has had a chance to wear off in about two weeks, I'm going to get some more and I'm going to put them in my greenhouse and I'm going to put them in, whoop, down in my basement and I'm going to put them in my IKEA greens. Okay guys, they are fast, very fast. So I just put the last of them in here because as I say, this Monstera deliciosa had the thrips. So obviously they were in this area. So I've treated every single plant in my kitchen, actually except for the two on top, but I'm hoping fingers crossed. So when I get the next batch, I'll treat those too. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the beneficial bugs. Okay guys, so my little army are out there now. I'm hoping that they are able to get my thrip infestation under control. And I am just, I wrote to the owner of the company and I asked him if he could send some information to me. So I'm not going to memorize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you what he had sent. So he does recommend using two types of bugs to get the thrip infestation under control. I just bought the one, but I think when I have got rid of all the neem oil and I'm sure it's gone, I'm, I'll probably double treat them. So let me read to you what he sent me. He said, if you're unable to wipe the plants, I would recommend waiting two weeks before using the beneficial predators. So and that's what I'm going to do. They are already going to be stressed out from shipping. And if we release them in an unfavorable environment, they won't be very effective. Aureus usually lasts about seven to nine days before naturally dying, but it is a really aggressive thrip predator and doesn't need a lot of time to eliminate the active infestation. Using Aureus in combination with Swisskii and Hypoaspis is usually recommended if your infestation is medium to high. Aureus attacks the adult stages of thrips, 
while Swarovski eliminates the first and second instar. And hypoaspis feeds on the dis disposing stages of the soil. I don't know what a lot of that means, guys, but I guess they're saying the um, Swarovski attacks the eggs, let's say, I'd imagine, and the hypoaspis probably feeds on the larva, I'm guessing. Um, Together they attack all trip life stages at the same time, getting rid of the infestation completely within two to three weeks. But well, that's pretty amazing. So he also sent me some information on commonly found pests. Spider mites. Californi God, these names are really, really hard, guys. Californicus, I think, used for preventative control against spider mites or when there is very little signs of infestation. Persimilis used when there is an active infestation. Persimilis only feeds on spider mites. Once the spider mites are eliminated, they will starve and die. Aphids, we're not worried about aphids. Thrips, aureus is the only predator that can feed on all mobile stages of trips. Thrips, thrips. So we've spoken about the Swirskii and the, oh, this is what uh, Alina gets. It's the Cucumeris. So the Cucumaris, so I guess the Latin name or whatever it is, is that other name I, he spoke about. So Cucumaris feeds on the first instar of the trips. It can't work in temperatures above 26 degrees. Fungus gnats. We all know about them. I think I might actually treat them next time as well. Uh, here we go. Dalotia coriaria. One of the best gnat predators. Using this in combo with sticky tape will get rid of your infestation within two to three weeks. I'm definitely getting these next time. Hypoaspis, I guess it's mealies, mileys, also feed on gnats but isn't as aggressive. Market cost is lower so I usually recommend this one if your gnat problem isn't severe. Well I have a big gnat problem so I'd be going for the other one. He also has a section on preventative control. Green lacewing eggs hatch into larvae in three to four days under ideal conditions and patrol your plants in search of pests. If there are no pests, they'll die from starvation. <laughs> Predatory mite sachets. These are essentially like micro breeding systems that have food and other organic matter to help predatory mites breed and slowly release onto your plants over time. Sachets last four to six weeks before requiring a replacement. Humidity is really important for the tiny ecosystem in the sachet. Minimum 60 to 70% humidity. So hypoaspis, it's spelled with miles, M-I-L-E-S, and Delotia coriaria, coriaria. These are both soil predators and can last a long time in soil, even if there are no pests, by feeding on other dead organic matter. Delotia coriaria lasts longer in the soil compared to hypoaspis and is a more aggressive predator. Most other most of our customers replace these one to two times a year. So um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Okay, so this company seems to have a lot of beneficial bugs to deal with a lot of our issues. So I'm certainly going to do that. Um, I'm going to give it two weeks. I'm going to come back. I'm going to get more of these little pirate beetles and the cucumaris, is that what it, they were called? And I'm going to release them again and I'm going to treat my fungus gnats. So I will maybe report to you when I get those as well. But um, I, what I love about this is that it's actually, it's, a, it's practically a local company. So it's a Canadian company. You don't have to go to the States to order it, where a lot of people think they have to either go to Amazon or go to the States. So I am going to put a link below to their company. And again, I'll just give you the name. It's Grow Live Biologicals. They're in Amherst, Ontario. Uh, shipping was amazing. He was very efficient and replied to my questions like almost immediately. And um, I am I'm hoping now that this is going to help with my trips. I think I probably have a little bit more to go, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Okay, so you guys take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you could subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And have yourselves a great day. Yeah.